to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, help us to worship you with all that we are. From our innermost parts, Lord, help us to worship you. Lord, when we struggle, help us, Lord, to worship you. We come to worship you and you alone. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're altogether lovely. Altogether worthy. Altogether wonderful to me. And I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross. Lord, I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross. No, I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. All together. to you this night. Here I am, Lord. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say your up your hands right now where you are. Say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. 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 For you didn't have to go to the cross. He went for you. You didn't have to shed your blood. He shed his blood for you. For you. For you. For you. He did it all just for you. As we look across society, we can look and say, Lord, you did it just for me. It's a personal salvation. Lord, you did it just for me. Lord, you saved me, you delivered me, you kept me. Lord, you carried me. How many times has he carried you? Lord, you carried me. I thank you, Lord, for you're mighty, you're holy, 
You're holy, you're holy, you're holy. You're mighty, you're mighty, you're mighty, Lord. You're mighty, you're mighty.
Come on and just love him. Come on and just love him.
Now just shut your eyes. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. Sometimes you just need to cut off what you're looking at. Just feel for him. Just reach for him. Come on, Bambo, do you want double somebody on the other day? Stay right there. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Go ahead. Just whisper it. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Come on, die, Murriamo, Summer Riganda, Madei. Come on, Madame Murriana, Maliga, the Mosibi, and the Murriana. Baby, double sabadai. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Now you don't have to whisper it, you can scream it. But tell him he's worthy. Worthy. How great you are. How great you are. Who is like unto you? Who is like unto you? Who is like unto you? You're so worthy. You're so worthy.
sa mga worship becomes more valuable now your worship becomes greater because your flesh wants to stop now your worship becomes extreme in his presence stir me for you Lord stir me for you Lord stir me for you Lord somebody about day on the ball deep or on the ballet the ball Sunday I'm bumping the open day on the mother line you're beautiful you're beautiful God you're beautiful you're beautiful my day by day but we got my CB on the board again day a day on the body you're beautiful You're wonderful. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. of your presence the depths of your presence the depths of your presence bring us deeper the depths of your presence the depths of your presence Bring me deeper, Lord. Bring me deeper, Lord. Bring me closer, Lord. Stir me for you. So, Mama Mando, Rian, the Valley, and the Valley, and the Gadea Day.
Just worship him. Just worship him. Don't move. Just worship him.
Hallelujah. 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 For I have spoken, said the Lord, many times that this house is the foundation of the fountain of the Lord. For this is a well, said God, that I have placed here by his mother. And I have placed this place here for many thousands to come and drink from the fountain. For many other churches is dried up, said the Lord, and they are stuck in the mud because there's no water. Which is my spirit, said the Lord. And they stuck in the mud, said God. But I shall bring them here and they shall drink fresh water, said the Lord. For this is the well that I spoke about of Jacob, said the Lord. I have appointed this place to feed and, and, and give thirst to those that need drink. And I will flow up out of here what I said in my word. A river flowing out of your pits of your belly, said the Lord. Rivers of living water, said God. For so many churches are dead and dried up and there's no more water to be received. But apostle, I have put you here. I have put you here because nobody has wanted to come and do what I've called you to do. But I've set you aside and I have put you way out here by yourself, said the Lord. I set aside for my purpose and for my glory, said the Lord. Not by accident, not by coincidence, but by the, my design purpose for the life of this ministry. And I will use you greater than you ever saw before, my man of God. And I will let the world know that you are mine, said God. And I will say this to you concerning your wife, said the Lord. I'm the one put you together. I'm the one gave you the woman of God. I'm the one gave you the love of your heart. I'm the one gave you your children. I'm the one caused them to be up in this house today, said the Lord. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. For your seed is my seed, said God. That's why they are in here. That's why they are doing what they're doing, because you have a holy seed. And I've chosen you, son, to bring forth holy people in this house, said God. You're not just an apostle of this house, said the Lord, but you're my apostle for around the world, said God. And many shall call on you and choose you to speak in many uh, uh, positions of, of, of pastors and prophets and teachers, evangelists, and, 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 and apostles, said the Lord, and they shall hear you, said God. For many have rejected what you have. But I say this is the hour. This is the day that no man will reject my word that's coming out of your mouth. Because I will touch their heart. I will convict them. I will make them repent, said the Lord. And I will cause many that have talked against you to come fall at your feet and repent to you, said the Lord. But it doesn't matter what they have said. I will prove my word. I will prove my word, I said. And I will speak again into this house and i will speak to all of the those that are following you humble yourselves humble yourselves even as israel humbled themselves before moses when i will teach you and i will show you what i'm getting ready to do in a very short time and God said, hey, children of Israel left out of Egypt with all the gold and the silver and the precious stones. And they was rich when they left out. What I say unto you, Egypt concerning the world, said God. And I'm getting ready to give all of my children that's come out of the world of Egypt. And they have come into the house of God. Only those that's faithful to me shall receive this financial blessing that I'm going to pour out upon the church of the living God. Shekopah Hosata. And the Lord said, all of those that support this ministry, they shall see great increase. Even money they never thought they would get. Lawsuits been held up for years. Inheritance that, that their relative died and left it to them. And they don't even know. But the Lord said, even expose the inheritance of his people. 
because there's much that you shall teach them we must do they're going to go forth and be rich but not be selfish for a selfish man cannot do nothing for me because I love a cheerful giver not just money but themselves themselves and the Lord said you've given much come wife come wife stand beside your husband the Lord says you've given much man of God you given much. Step up a little bit, some of sir. God said, You given much. You and your wife given much. And the Lord said, Listen, the little house y'all living in, y'all content. Y'all content. You're not you're not proud and boastful and lifted up in your flesh and you, you're not concerned about where you live because you're living you're, you're, you're living an abundant life in what you got and the Lord said you appreciate what you got but I want to let you know some man of God honey praise God just because God got it God said you can have what you ask him for you can have anything that you ask him for woman of God you can have anything you ask him for said the Lord and God said y'all been pleased and content with you and your children and lit house shall have glory be to God and God said that you always would like that that's why he getting ready to open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing upon you said the Lord glory be God in Jesus name hallelujah oh in Jesus name 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 stand up son stand up apostle son stand up oh, matter of fact all your musicians can stand up stand up right where you God said, eyes ain't seen, ears have not heard. God getting ready to open up the record label into y'all's ministry. And God said, you're not going to fight for it. You ain't going to do nothing but just worship for it. Do y'all hear me? That's all you got to do. Just to continue doing what you're doing. Worship for it. Because the angels of heaven is going to bring it to pass. Man of God, God said the minutes, minute time, I can, I can look at you right now. Praise God, you're good on that guitar. But guess what? I'm looking at you way back here now. Have you ever been a part of a group? You would offer to be a group? With somebody back here now? Sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But God said, hey, he said, he's glad you turned it down. Because what you're doing right now is going to accomplish a harvest. Greater than you can ever dream about. Amen. Praise God. My God, what God going to bless you with, Mark, look, ain't no man can give it to you. Somebody say hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Say hallelujah up in here. God is good all the time. And all we got to do is to rejoice and be glad about it. Don't worry about the crowd. The crowd going to come looking for y'all. Because right now, they're they stumbling around in the mud. You know what mud represents? There's, there used to be water. That's what mud is. There used to be water, but there's no water. Why? Because now all they're doing is stumbling around in the mud. And I say they stuck in the mud. How many of y'all want to flow? Come on now. How many of y'all want to flow from God? How, come on. How many of y'all want to flow from God? It's time for God to flow through your children, flow through your job, flow through your home, flow through your body. God don't want nobody sick. I say, Phew. I say, Phew. that's how quick God get ready to cut the devil down. Y'all better come. Everybody that want to, my God, a miracle from God, stand on your feet right now. Stand up and give God some praise in the house. Come on, stand up and give God some praise. Because God said, if you praise me, I'll rejoice and bless you. Come on, praise God. Jericho walls came down by the praising of the Lord. The saints of God began to praise. Walked around Jericho for seven days and the wall came down. I said the walls came down. I said the walls came down. Woo! Glory be to God. And the walls been to come down. I said the walls been to come down. Hallelujah. Glory. Somebody say glory. Come on. Somebody say glory. I don't know about you, but I want my blessing. I don't know about you, but I want my double portion. I don't want nothing about you, but I want to see my family members say. Woo! Shut the candle, they 
para Kaziel Ekababahashan Karabashan Okabashikobohosha Teba I heard the Lord say I heard the Lord say Some are, are quite a few people left here About a year ago But God said they're coming back brother They come back because they found out The grass was not green on the other side Somebody better talk to me The grass was not green on the other side And they realized that now So they're going to come back Woo! Let me say this and I sit down This morning I was in church And before I got started doing the worship part, God said, I want you to go to the apostles tonight. I said, okay, good. So the people that were there, me and my wife and whoever was there, I told them and I said, I got to go to the apostles tonight. And then I, I said, what well, am I calling first? And the Holy Ghost said, no, don't you dare. And I said, I'm going to sneak up on him. When he walked through that door right here, he said, the Holy Ghost told me you was here. <laughs> I said, well, Lord, thank you. How many of y'all know the Holy Ghost know everything? You never, got, you never can surprise God, amen? You cannot surprise God. If you think you can surprise God, you're mistaken, honey, because he knows everything. Glory be to God. Somebody say glory. Come on, say Glory. Now, 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 I, I got to do one more thing. I got, I got to do this, and I ain't going to even ask the pastor for permission. I just got to do it. Stand up, come here. The pastor, come with me, sir. Stand right here. Side by side. Hold your wife here. Come on, wife. Hold her hand right there. Everybody that comes to this church, uh, stand up and raise your right hand. Everybody that belongs here. All right. Do you see the high priest of this house? Do you see the princess that stand beside the high priest? Do you see your salvation leaders? You understand? Once you get saved, you need leaders. Amen. Y'all got some of the greatest leaders on earth. Come on, give, can you give God a praise? You got some of the greatest leader on earth. You ain't gonna find this today in many churches. I said, you ain't gonna find it. Don't you look, ask me. I've been around everywhere. I don't find it nowhere. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? That's why when this man met me, we connected over y'all know in the lost woods, back down somewhere, we was over y'all somewhere. The Lions King ministry. When we connected, honey, he was just he was just like electricity, just shocked us and God said to tell all of y'all if you ain't got no bread on your table make sure they got bread because if you make sure they got bread guess what God will send an angel or he'll send a raven oh Lord help me up in here I said God will send a raven praise God my God my can I say praise the Lord so if you put God first God will put you first
Treasures. Jesus said, One man saw a field. He went and sold all that he had that he could purchase that field. Lord, open my eyes that I can see into your kingdom. for a vessel maybe uh, maybe a maybe a fancy bottle <laughs> hey brother Keith can I bother can I bother you some help to move an altar. You stay. You stay where you are. I need some help to move an altar. Just put it right up here. No, not you, Apostle. Thank you, Apostle. Close the oil away.
Bande Buriamo Sunday, Neboriam Nebodande Kiam. Tedi Sunday, Kiamo Sindi and I, Kondai Nedomoria no Mole. Stretch your hand this way. Stretch your hand this way. Bind be beyond a kiamone siyan nine day borodiyan day be si tiyan da bote. Strengthen you. And I speak protection. Come on, day by somebody, they are night to go on night. As your husband walks in the apostleship. You'll find a new level, a new place. You'll not work for it. You'll just step into it. You'll discover.
don't really understand about this gospel. But after you seek Him and after you become real, Some of you may not realize it. Now you can see, as this man continued to pray, the kingdom brought gifts to it. If our gospel is hid, it is hid to them that cannot see. But how many of you have you have sought God? You had that intimate moving of the Holy Ghost. You felt Him bring you things. He really knows about it. Because those that hunger and thirst after more don't stop there. But those that have not died out to flesh, they pray a little while to get something and then they get up with it and run.
You ever seen somebody get something in God, but they won't sit around and be taught? They're too big for it. Don't you understand that God is a trying God? The Bible says God brought Abraham to that place so he could prove him. But as he continued to pray, those with a little spiritual insight, just a little, while they may run up to this fellow that's praying and serious with God and say, look what God has given you. You should run with it. You should run. You got two now. I encourage you, stay faithful. Don't get up and run. Pray on. If he would have quit praying, said this is enough, he'd have had enough water for two or three hours. If he would have stopped with enough water for just a little while, it would have increased to twice as long. He waited. Now substance. Ah. Oh, I, I might have tossed the water bottles aside, but the water bottles are still his. The gifts and the callings are without repentance. He just cried on, prayed on, saying, God, I want more of you. I'm not praying so I can get a gift. How many people have prayed to get a gift? The gift owns them. The gift's their God. They use it like it's their key. You see, the scripture said that your gift would bring you before kings. So they put their eyesight on that and forget that there is a God that at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. But if you'll hold on. Now, the prayer time to the first one and the prayer time to the second one wasn't that long. But it increased longer to get a gift of substance. But wait.
wonder what's in this one. You've seen the gift here. You have just some discernment of the gift here. Reckon what's in there. Reckon silver is in there. More valuable. Wait a minute. You reckon it's gold? Those that never pray will probably never know. Because the gospel has it hid. When he wouldn't quit for something that flesh would want. When he wouldn't quit for something that a spiritual understanding would want. Do you see? Do you see? It, it's, it's, it's not just a carnal thing. That would be gold. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. Apostle, it's greater than silver. It's greater than gold. <laughs> Revelation said, I charge you by a me raiment without money I charge you I counsel you by a me. Gold tried in the fire. <laughs> you had a gift. Sorry. But this makes you rich. Those with gifts, Jesus said, did not we cast out devils in thy name? Didn't we do mighty great miracles in thy name? He said, yeah, but you don't have this. You stayed long enough to get a gift when I had something greater. Oh. I want you to know tonight, God has something greater for you. Don't run off with a gift. Terry, 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 if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Revelation.
salvation. And anoint thine eyes with eyes, Sam, that thou mayest see. I'm 24 years old, traveling with that wonderful little prophetess. And preachers show up to the meeting and they say, son, you got it. You ought to have your own meetings. They were wanting me to take my bottle my little bottle and run off with it. <laughs> and then when the price got bigger, they said, you know, you can do what you want to do with this. You don't have to wait on him. You got a gift. You got the anointing, you can preach. But I just stayed. The most important thing that you can receive is sight. Because when you know who he really is, <laughs> when you realize that you take your eyes off of the gifts and you look at the Creator, Now this is a little deep for some of you and you don't have to really worry about it but I'll just tell you a little secret. I've told him that if I can be there where he is and never leave, I'm talking about that world. I just want to be there in your presence. What's more valuable, a gift or the relationship? Somebody with a relationship can be an intercessor. Somebody with a relationship, don't get all caught up in the gift. They get caught up in the giver. Somebody with a relationship doesn't make any difference what the trial says. Makes no difference what the pain says. No. Makes no difference what the multitudes say. What makes a difference is what he says. And when he comes beside you and says, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. But I'll go with you even to the end. Hey. Come my table. Hurry up Sunday. When you go through the fire, I'll be with you. When you go through the river, when you go through the water, I'll be with you. Oh, they mind on my son that nine day but the night. When you hear his voice say, Son of man, can these bones live? Don't look at your gift. Look at the creator and say, God, only you know. Hey. When you understand who he is, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Tell him, God, open my eyes. I want to see into the kingdom. I want to look into what you desire. I want to be what you want me to be. I want to be what you dream for me to be. I want to walk in that place with you, God. Hey.
Stir me for you. Stir me for you. Stir me for you. Stir me for you. Stir me for you, God. Stir me for you, God. Put the altar down. Now it's your turn. I open these altars and I say, will you seek him beyond the gift? for money not for things but for him what he say that I might know him ah. that I might know him that I might know him Why don't you get up out of your seat and make your way down this altar and say, God, I want you. Don't quit, Russ. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. God, I want you.